Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Last time we finished off World 2 here, and uh, on the main overworld, if you look at the name at the top, you will notice that there is also an exclamation mark there, and a DK coin symbol there, indicating that we have found all of the stuff in the world. So, I mean, you don't just have to, you know, go into each world and look at each level individually. There's also a quick reference thing right there on the main overworld map uh, that can help you out with that. But... This time you're starting World 3, so if we go inside here, we're still on Funky's crazy plane thing. And we have Barrel of Bayou as the first level here. We have a crazy massive swamp with a sunken ship thing. So let us go in here and see what kind of crazy stuff we have. We actually have a new level theme, and it is the swamp theme, or the, the bog, or the marsh, or whatever you want to call it. And they have very, very nice, awesome music. Also, uh, we are introduced to this kind of timer barrel here which you have until the kind of timer runs out to direct it wherever you want, and then when the time runs out, um, it will shoot you in the direction that it is pointing, or at any time you can press B um, to, to shoot yourself out of it um, on your own without waiting for the timer to run out. And yeah, um, basically, if you touch... Um, actually, not if you touch, but you need to... Uh, if you touch kind of the water, and uh, it will just... Uh, it's kind of like the lava. You'll go right through it, and you will die. Also, we have those guys there that kind of shoot things at you. Uh, which is pretty great. And also, we could go over here, but we can also jump across this and find Rambi, which will be essential to uncovering some of the secrets of this level. And that guy throws a zinger. And yeah, overall, those guys are going to throw a whole bunch of crazy stuff at us throughout the level. And they're also going to be required for a few secrets as well. Um, so we're going to need to be careful whether or not we kill them, because there's actually a few that you don't want to kill, because they are going to end up throwing things that you need later on. Also, let me see... Can I do this? Okay. <laughs> I want the O for some reason. There we go. I was going to be very sad if Rambi ended up disappearing for the brief second that I was off screen. Anyway, of course the thing is here, I mean, you want to be quick because it's like, oh no, I feel all pressured now because I'm running out of time. So, I mean, you want to be quick, but you want to make sure that you also shoot yourself in the right direction and you can get that coin if you have Rambi. Also, these guys are going to become a massive pain. Um, we have seen them quite a bit, you know, in the, in the last part. But they're going to become a lot more common um, at this point. Anyway, let's see here. We got that. We have that. And we have that midway point. Looks like somewhere we are going to be getting a cannonball. We can destroy all of these guys. We can destroy you. And you. Almost looks like there should have been a shell or something. So you can destroy them all and get a 1-up in Super Mario Brothers. And wow, that has to be one of the easiest DK coins ever. Also, this guy... That arrow threw me off for so long as a kid. You just kind of have to wait around for him, and then follow him back, and then he does this. <laughs> as a kid, I was like, I, I just did not kind of put the, put the pieces together with that arrow, and I just, for some reason, never really thought, okay, if I follow that enemy, uh, enemy, the enemy, the enemy all of the way to the left, that he would drop the cannonball needed for that cannon, I don't know. It's just another one of those really tricky things about Donkey Kong Country 2. That, I mean, you really need to put the pieces together. I mean, heck, at least they give you an arrow. I'm actually surprised they did that much, considering in a lot of cases, you know, it's like, just, you know, do whatever the heck you think you need to do, even though there's no kind of indication. Also, that's kind of a tricky thing there, where, you yeah, know, the arrow things shoot the wrong way. But, uh, you still need to hold right, and you can do a thing. Also, we got that this thing again shoot to the right and just pretty much just hold right at this point and uh, that's all you really need to do and let me see is that all of the bonus games in this level or am i missing something i'm not entirely sure and how did that miss you how on earth did that miss you okay yeah so see i never trust whether i should kill those guys or not just because you never know one of them might end up throwing a bonus game or something that you need and whoa okay <laughs> that was very close and so this thing here Although I don't think we really need to collect all the bananas, so if we miss a few, I will not cry over that. We have the Kong letters, which is nice. And there's another bonus game. Actually, I guess you could probably bounce off um, one of those barrels if you do not have both Kong partners. But we might as well use the kind of, you know, things that we have at our disposal anyway. Now, here we have a thing where you kind of go over the thing and then over the thing and over the thing. And it feels like we're, like, you know, going over top a whole bunch of stuff that we shouldn't be going over. Of. Is there any kind of secret out in the middle there? Uh, we have the DK coin, so you know it's not hidden inside of the bonus game. Like I said, I don't believe that that ever really happens again. Anyway. And the 1-up. 10 lives. 
and we have Dixie this time. And yeah, that is the first level of World 3. <laughs> it's a very, very interesting level. And there we go, exclamation mark and DK coin. Um, that's definitely one of the easier DK coins to find, although, I mean, you have to get Rambi, of course. And if you kind of go over top of where he is, um, you might not even actually notice that he's there. You kind of need to be kind of observant. So it's not as out in the open as it seems. I wouldn't call it that, um, you know, Donkey Kong Country 3 quality of hiding items. Um, it's still um, somewhat decent. Anyway, Glimmers, Galleon, and just wait until you see what the gimmick of this level is. It's dark, and you can see absolutely nothing except, you know, the bananas and stuff. Um, you can go up here, and if you do, so pretty much, yeah, what it's trying to indicate is that you're actually supposed to go down and to the right, and you can kind of follow these bananas. And I actually don't even know why that guy is there, considering I don't think you can actually kill him. But let me see here. So yeah, if you go a little bit into the level, this guy will eventually show up, and he acts as a light. Now what you can do is you, uh, you can kind of go up from where you started, as you start right here. You can go upwards, and you realize, oh, okay, there's a bonus game if you go up, which is pretty cool. So let's do this bonus game, and then I'm going to show, tell you something that will shock and amaze you. Find the token. And the guy does not follow us into this game, so we are back into the dark. Once again, we have 40 seconds, which isn't too bad. Um, I don't know how this is going to show up on video. Can everyone see kind of just barely, you know, kind of the outline of the boxes? Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> There wasn't even really any dead ends, it was kind of just like, you know, follow the path that you can kind of see but can't really see. But anyway, just because I want everyone to see this clearly, I'm going to go back and get the light guy again. You do not have to have the light to do this, but it definitely, you know, kind of makes it easier to see things. Okay, so you get the glimmer guy, and you go back to the left, and you go back to where the bonus game was. And now, now get this, get a load of this. I actually don't remember if it's um, above or below, but if, okay, is it up here? Yes, if you go above the bonus game, like, look at that, there's absolutely no indication of that at all. I, I, like I said, it, it doesn't work at the bottom too, that's it? Okay, so no, you have to go over top, so, if you go up here, it takes you to a secret room with a three. Now, it's like, three, why the heck is it number three? Then, if you go up here, it's a number, like, like it, that's that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, th that secret, just just that secret is so absolutely ridiculous. It just it just kills me every time I even think about it. It's, it's just so absurd. And I believe that there's also room somewhere with, like, one and two? Can you go up here? Yes, you can. So, I mean, it's like two, and it's just like, like, I, I don't even really know what to say about that secret. It's just so out there. Now, is there a room with a number one? Um, I'm actually not entirely sure. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. <sighs> like, I, I, as a kid, like, 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 this, you, there's no indication of that at all, okay? It's like, okay, you know, there's a secret bonus game up here. That's pretty good, but so you have to go through the wall. <laughs> this, the secrets in this game kill me. After playing Donkey Kong Country 3, I really, really appreciate just how well the secrets in this game are hidden. Because they are just absolutely insane. Yeah, I don't know. It would make sense if there was a room with a number one. I don't really know why four is the DK coin, considering, I mean, there's only one DK coin in that room. So it would have made more sense if it was a number one? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what to make out of this crazy game. I really don't. I really don't. And I missed something over there, so I guess we might as well go back and get it. It might have just been bananas. Actually, it might not have just been bananas. Give me one second. Let's go back to the left. Let me go up here. And, okay, that's what that is. For a second, I was like, do I need on guard to break a wall here? Because, you know, sometimes that is what a single banana like that means. But I don't believe on guard is in this level. Or maybe he's in it later. I'm actually not 100% sure. It has been quite a while since I've played this level. But I'll never, ever, ever forget that secret at the beginning. Like, it's just one of those things I'll never, ever forget. Because, like, this, I, I can still see myself as a kid just finding out about some of these things. And it's just incredible. Like, there, there's no feeling like that moment of sudden realization when you just find a secret like that. Like, some people are, would probably get frustrated long before they ever tried going through every single wall, but just... As a kid, I wanted to 102% this game. And just... The perseverance that I put into it, and then finally finding out about secrets like that. It's just a feeling that, I mean, you have you have no idea unless you've done it for yourself, or had similar experiences. Now, what is the what is the deal with this here? This whole level is really, really bizarre. Um, there was also a dark uh, underwater level in Donkey Kong Country 3. 
And uh, Miles Luigi actually joined me for that level. And uh, since he had played Donkey Kong Country 2 and not Donkey Kong Country 3, I believe that he thought it was going to be similar. In the sense that, you know, a guy like this shows up and helps you out. Although the, uh, the dark level in that game was a little bit different. And man, I'm getting destroyed here. It's very hard to get by those red kind of angry fish guys sometimes. I cannot deny that. Especially, you know, when they put two together so close like this. Ah! Well, I guess this isn't going to be another deathless video. <laughs> anyway, DK coin found. We still have some bonus games to go. Let's cut back to where that shenanigan thing happened. Yeah, I hope that people are starting to realize what I mean when I say that Donkey Kong Country 2 has a lot of, like, walls that you have to go through. That there's absolutely no indication that you actually have to go through. It's just absolutely crazy, but I, I love every single bit of it. And, um, yeah, I know I say that a lot, but I just can't get over how much I love some of the secrets in this game. But anyway, these guys get so excited that they explode into sharp pieces, so you do want to be very careful of that. Also, I love just how kind of complex this level is. Because, I mean, it's not like it's even just a normal underwater level that's pretty complex. It's, it's like a dark underwater level with multiple paths all over the place. And it doesn't really give you any indication exactly, like, on where you're supposed to go. Sometimes, anyway. I mean, you do get these bananas inside of the walls that you cannot collect. Which always kind of bummed me out as a kid. Because I was always like, man, maybe there's somebody to get inside those walls and get the bananas. But there is not. Ugh, but man. <laughs> this level is just amazing. Anyway, we still have not seen any sign... Actually, that's, that's a lie. We have seen a bonus game, but we are still looking for at least one more bonus game. Uh, so we're going to keep swimming around and looking for that. We have starfish guys who bounce off of walls. We have angry redfish guys who want to eat our face. More of these guys. Man, I, I, was, I was sure that he was going to miss me, but I guess not. Is there anything down here? <laughs> I remember as a kid, when I didn't know where the DK coin was, I would just check like every single nook and cranny. Trying to find things. And there's another one of those guys who's so happy that he exploded. There's invisible bananas inside of that wall. I think we need to go up there to get the end, so let us do that. Although there is an angry redfish guy. Usually you can kind of just swim by them. Because they kind of take a second before they hone in on you. Um, but sometimes, you know, you just never know, right? Hey, darn, I really want the end. <laughs> Give me my end. Woo, that was very close. Go, man, go, go, go. <laughs> okay. Doesn't really give you too much space to get by them at some, po uh, at some point either. This level is just absolutely crazy. Anyway, I think if we go down here... No, no, no. That's not where the bonus game is. Bonus game's not up there. And yeah, I mean, this level is kind of just a lot of, you know, going random places looking for secrets. Because that's really all that you can do. Especially since you, can, you like, can't even see the entire screen at, at one time. You kind of have to. You know, just go into every little corner and hope that you're not missing anything. Because I think I might have missed the bonus game somewhere. Or did I? No, maybe I didn't. I know that there's coins over there I missed. I think if I go down, that's where the bonus game is hidden, right? If I go down here... Yes, it is! Okay. We are approaching the end of the level, but before we get to there, we have a Find the Token minigame. And this Find the Token minigame is very similar to the last Find the Token minigame, except this time there are actually dead ends. Although we do get the help of Glimmer to kind of help us see, uh, which is nice. But anyway, this is pretty much just um, a, bo uh, a bonus game from the first underwater level of the game, but with darkness added into it. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what this is. And again, I think we need to go to the top right. Yes, we do. 28 Creme Coins. I call them bonus coins, but you know, Creme Coins, bonus coins. Potato, potato. And of course, if you fail, you can easily try again. But we didn't fail, so uh, that is pretty fantastic. Also, I'm just going up here. I think we're pretty much at the end. I see the G up there, but you know, why even risk it? Also, yes, these guys do not only explode in kind of a cross formation. They also do kind of an X formation as well. So you need to be very, very careful. And I could get that coin. But who even cares? <laughs> this arrow barrel will take us up here. It's where there is a porcupine. Might as well just kill him, so there's absolutely no risk of, you know, dying when you're going for this one up here. And, man, that level is absolutely insane. I mean, the third world of Donkey Kong Country uh, 2, and it's like, it's almost as uh, crazy as some of the levels in the later worlds of Donkey Kong Country 3. I mean, there were some very difficult levels in Donkey Kong Country 3, but 
There is just so many gimmicks in this game that it is absolutely awesome. But anyway, we might as well pay for Funky so we never have to pay him two points again. And we can kind of just fly around here. And at this point, you could fly back to another world and save if you really needed to. But I mean, we have unlocked Wrinkly Kong here anyway. So we might as well do this right now. When you see Captain K. Rule, can you ask him if he has done his homework? Probably not. But anyway, a free save. Why not? An hour and nine minutes, 32%. And do you have any useful information? Cranky's video game hero coins. A very large coin with DK co uh, with DK on it has been, uh, it, it, each level has one, uh, cunningly hidden by Cranky. Collect these to increase your status as a video game hero. So just another reason to love Cranky. Clearly he did not hide the ones in Donkey Kong Country 3. They were probably hidden by, you know, someone who kind of sucks at hiding things. But oh well. We have the video game museum. And we have Crockhead Clamber. But even though we have only done two levels today... I think that this is where we are going to end it off for now. World, the, uh, world 3 is kind of a crazy world. It has more levels than typical worlds. Um, and the way it's set up is kind of weird. Plus, I think I'm starting to lose my voice from all the excitement of hidden secrets all over the place. <laughs> this walls that you, like, solid walls that you have to just guess and go through. Those make me happier than they should. I'm probably one of the only people in the world who those actually make happy. Everyone else probably just... You know, throws their controller at the screen in this in like you know hate but oh man that is just one of the many things i love about this game but with that said until next time um you know stay cool or whatever uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and see you next time